Hi everyone, how's everyone doing this evening? This is Sarah Manaresi, and this story is inspired by a friend of mine. She's in my challenge group right now, and we're learning how to cook for our families that are um, family-friendly recipes that our kids might even actually eat. Shocker, right? Um, and her husband was so excited, he got this giant bag of carrots. And too many carrots, <laughs> and she didn't know what to do with them all. So I thought I'd show you some different ways of how you cut them and can use them in different things. So first of all, like tonight, we're having stir fry. So I'm not the best, I don't have the best knife skills. My um, Julianne, nice little squarish, or more like rectangle-ish um, in size, but the importance here is to make sure that they're all just pretty much the same size so that they can cook easily um, at the same time and that you don't get like different textures. It just doesn't taste very good. So I use this in the stir fry that we're going to have tonight and I'll cut the zucchini and um, squash, onions and red bell peppers about the same size and I cook the carrots, the bell peppers and the onions all together first so they can get soft and then about five minutes later I add in the zucchini and the um, squash. My husband does not really care for eggplant so I usually don't put that in except if I really want it um, then I'll put it in. Important thing is when you cook them only don't need a ton of oil to do so and don't add the salt until it's at, till it's completely done or you can actually do it like halfway through because you don't want to draw too much moisture out. And then what you can do with your giant bag of carrots is move on to these little things. Of course, these are great in soups. They're also great in salads. They're also great as a snack. Um, just really easy to cut and store in a plastic bag for whenever you want them. And kids like them too. You can even make like little carrot chips in the oven with them. And then my favorite way to use carrots is actually in place of sugar. So when I'm making a tomato sauce and it calls for like a couple teaspoons of sugar, I will substitute it. I'll cut the um, carrots up really finely. I don't know if you can see that really finely and I just made a mess on my counter. What else is new? Um, and I'll substitute like a quarter carrot, quarter cup of carrots for like, I don't know, about a teaspoon of sugar. It um, adds some natural sweetness without adding extra calories that you don't want. Who wants processed sugar if you don't have to have it and then the other thing that i like to do is to use my beautiful box shredder now i'm going to show you probably one of my favorite tools in my kitchen yeah you're right you got it it is my steel glove because every time that i go to shred a carrot i lose a fingernail and what's great about these is that you can just wash them in your sink when you're doing the dishes and that way you can do this hey my hand is still intact how about that and shredded carrots depending on how finely you want them or whatever are also great in salads soups just really whatever you like a natural sweetness to it's really easy to do and what i love about them too is that i'll make sure that i use a couple of them throughout my week and i will cut them to whatever I'm going to use them for. So like this week I'm making spaghetti sauce, we're having salads, we're having stir fry. I'll go ahead and cut them. I'll, um, you know, I'll peel them first and then I can put them in individual baggies, throw them in the refrigerator and they're good to go for the entire week. So only chopping once and having a great time doing it. So I hope these these tips are really helpful for you and how you prepare your family meals. It's also a great way to sneak veggies in because um, my kids don't eat vegetables that much, and so they don't even know. Hey, who knew? You can sneak things in, right? So anyway, I hope you are having a fabulous evening, enjoying time with your family and friends, and I will talk to you later. Bye!